D2DNY real world HVAC simplified and check out my new toolbox <laughs> all right so that's, that's 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 pretty dope all right but so today I got a Mitsubishi mini split I would say and uh, we got some issues with it like right now it's running this is my high pressures looks pretty good uh, compressor is off right now I have no hamperage so the compressor keeps cutting on and off that's my suction line temperature so the compressor was just on it just turned off so it keep cutting on and off intermittently right so here is a here's the model it's a bit of a tight space so I think the previous contractor replaced the uh, main control board you see that right there the model number take a note of the model number PUZ836 836NHA4 so the previous contractor uh, they replaced uh, so the suction line temperature is warming up right now but it went down to about 55 degrees so that's good and you know this gauge is just one hose so right now it's on the high side when i had it, when i had it on the low side over here it shows about 110 115 uh the amperage is rated for 12 and i went up to uh see i'm on the compressor right now i went up to about uh just about 12 uh at full full speed when you can hear the compressor ramps up um yeah but it keeps coming on going off uh, let's just wait for it and here is the indicator of the lights you know i got no error codes right nothing no every those are normal status um nothing bl uh, blinking if i go on the cover over here right so it says to tell you that you know if you got certain faults that uh the power is turned on what the green light supposed to be doing what the red light supposed to be doing and red is the LED light or light emitting diode so I have no blinks everything is just normal right so I think the issue here is uh, when they when the contractor replaced uh, here it goes starting up again so here's my head pressure All right and there's my amperage right so this is my high side pressure uh, dum, dum, dum. real world HVAC simplified my 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 diagnostic is that the this control board is brand new as you could see I don't know if you could tell from the video the main PCB is brand new and SW6 right is the switch that's supposed to be designate the capacity because I guess this is a generic board and and throughout across these models you can use the same board so you have to set up SW6 to let the unit know what model unit you're you have installed it on and it's not set up I'm, I'm gonna get to that in a little bit but I just want to show you what's been, what, what it's been doing so it does this every time without fail it goes up pressures looks good Temperatures looks good. Yeah, so that's dropping. Amperage looks good. Okay, so it does that without fail every time, right? And no error code, right? So I, I guess it's going to be a while. This particular unit, I believe, I this is a, the Mnet uh, conversion board. And I can use my MN converter here with my laptop, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and configure the dip switches and um, see if this thing will stay online and run constant, all right? It's on right now. It stays on for a couple of minutes, maybe three, four minutes the most, and then turns off. Look at my suction line temperature. It's dropping, right? Six to one degree, that's my suction line right here, all right? So yeah, it looks. I mean, it looks pretty good, but it doesn't stay on. All right, so I have the manual downloaded. 
Let me get my little light. Okay, so my light over here. And you can see SW6, right? All the switches. SW6, all the switches are in the off position, right? SW6, all switches are in the off position. It's a brand new board, so the contractor, I guess he never got the memo, so he left the switches in the default position, um, which is off. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, all right. Okay, all right, so I got the manual downloaded. Let me show you what it is. So the manual, and for this model, so SW6, model select, you can see clearly that. And uh, for this model, it's a 36, right? So you should have SW6, one supposed to be off, two and three on, four, five off, six, seven on, and then eight is off, right? Uh, so, based on this, we can see that SW6, every switch is in the off position. And the unit, I just turned off again. So that's what it does. And it seems like that's a suction line temperature. So it seems like everything is all right with it. I'm not getting any error codes. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to uh, do those dip switches. I'm gonna shut the power down, and I'm gonna do the dip switches. As a matter of fact, let me check on the uh, the cover here because if you don't have access to the um, internet and you can't download the manual like I can do right now, you can. The information is on the cover, so you can see this is our model, 36. This one right here is our model. And uh, let me just confirm it with you. As a matter of fact, here it is. Actually, you know what? Let me just get in the front. I just dropped my phone. It has protection in it, so it's fine. So we are A36NHA4. All right, so we're troubleshooting this thing live, real time. Listen, I love my new toolbox, man. It's a DeWalt impact right there anyways so the one we have is this one right here this one the one in the bottom and as you can see just as the uh on the manual which i downloaded from the internet mylinkdrive.com www.mylinkdrive.com and you select your country or region i'm in the united states so it's usa so you can see and this is talking about model select select sw6 and obviously that's not set up. So I think that's the issue. I'm gonna go ahead and make the, make, make the changes. Turn the power off, make the changes. And uh, yeah, I'll leave in the description. I'm gonna close this video off right now and I'm gonna leave it in the description if this actually solved the problem. All right, if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I do upload videos on a weekly basis. Again, this is D2D New York. Real world, real HVAC, simplified. It's a lot of Mr. Beach's uh, VRFs up here. And this little setback right here in New York City. All right. So, give this, give this video a like if you hadn't. Um, give this video a like and subscribe if you hadn't subscribed. Okay. I upload videos on a weekly basis.